How's it going guys? I am Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios. Here again with the weekly vlog for Schoolism uh, to update you guys on how I'm doing with the whole uh, drawing thing. This this week was uh, a roller coaster. Let me tell you man. Uh, first off, thank, thank you for viewing in for those who are checking the video out. I know there's some of you guys out there, some of my friends, some of my subs that are uh, taking the time to watch it, so thank you for following along on the journey. But um, yeah, let me tell you. So this is the second course, the second artist I'm learning from uh, of, of, from this website. So this website has a ton of artists, and each artist has their own course, and you can learn you know, specific, specifically from them. Last week was Thomas Fluhardy, and I was learning uh, the drawing fundamentals. Now, this week, I'm learning from John Hardenstein, John Hardenstein, or Tom Hardenstein. You think I should, I, re I really should know these names, but um, th this course is the fundamentals of realism. So, uh, so what makes the drawing look real, realistic? So, uh, first of all, his name is Jonathan Hardenstein, I remember now. Man, what a teacher. Man. He's so passionate, he's funny. He's sharp. Um, he's into rock music, um, but just a just a great, great teacher, man. He understands the difficulty of, you know, he's been where we, we've been, and he hasn't forgotten. So he's just he's, he's patient with his teachings, and he's pretty detailed. But uh, realism is, is is hard, you know. Um, it's not like I necessarily want to get into like portraits, like that kind of realism. But I need to know how to make landscapes, and um, I, I I didn't know like fully what I was getting into with with realism um, but yeah it's a really important information man um, it's fundamental so it, it just goes along with any anything in art so he's talking about values and and lights and and edges and just stuff you know I never really considered or, or known about too well um, but he, he, we started off with basic stuff so you take a face like he, he gave us sent us pictures of a face and you just do the line the line um, sculpt out the line work and then you'll sculpt out like just really simple simplistic lines it's, it's pretty much like shapes uh, like Tom Flu Fluhardy was teaching in, in the first course um, first I, I want to say um I, I noticed in the last couple videos I said um a lot it's a bad thing to say um like you know like those things I said like, I got those are like, I did it again. Those are filler words, you know. I did, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta start stop using those. Oh, I don't want to do them right now. It's hard. But anyways, where was I? So yeah, shapes, spaces. We're blocking out. We wanted us to block out the face and but also the values of the face. So. You see, like this side's lighter, like the lights coming from here. So he would, we would uh, block out like this light here, and then sorry, my, my camera's in reverse. So it's like looking in the mirror, like you kind of get confused where your hands at. See that? There's like a kind of. <laughs> I can't. Do it. All right, let me see that out. There's, there's like there, you see the the value of shapes here. There's values. There you go. And, uh, whatever the sh shadows lights you just block it out so you're simplifying everything and that's how we started off with and but then you want to start adding values and it just got more complicated after that holy Jesus of mother of pearl anyways why I was having so much trouble with this week the, the stuff I'm learning just like in the first course like I like the comics man I, I like comics and I want to know how to you know I'm gonna mute that. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I want to learn how to draw people and anatomy and muscles and, and the eyes and the, 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 the skull and just uh, the jawline, the nose, and eyes and stuff like that. So I'm waiting to learn that stuff. I'm, I'm sure some of the courses, well, surely I know there's some portrait courses, but it's like I'm into comics and comics aren't drawing trees you know it's not it's, it's it's definitely a part a part of it especially when you're learning values edges soft edges 
when, when you're looking at the really great artists in, in the comics, like especially with coloring and drawing, there's some amazing, just complex artwork, and it starts from the fundamentals. So um, I, I know I need to be patient with with learning this, all this stuff, but it's just not easy because the last thing I want to do is be sitting here figuring out values, man. It's just it takes so much effort and focus to make it look right. You really need to, when you're looking at a photo and you're trying to make everything perfect, like what, like what the photo looks like, it's just, it's, it's really tough to stick with it. It takes a lot of discipline, which I'm trying to learn to have more of. I'm, I'm trying to stay at it, stay structured, but uh, I gotta be honest with you, I gotta sure, sugarcoat it, it is, it's hard and then you, st you start second guessing stuff because when you, when you do something and it comes out trash and horrible and the picture that you're looking at that you're trying to copy does not come out as the picture it, it's very disheartening it's defeating and then you start having the doubts like, okay maybe I'm not I shouldn't be doing this maybe this is not for me but I've, I've watched enough interviews of artists and not even just artists just successful people and They've, everyone has gone through this. It's just part of the course. And if you really, you, what what I have to keep doing is reminding myself of why I'm doing this and the goal, which, which is tricky because because when you're having issues with with when you're having doubts, then you start doubting the goal. Okay, do I really want to be an artist? Do I really want to get into comics? Why am I doing this? Is this worth it? Like I'm not happy doing this because I'm not. There's no happiness in doing doing the meticulous stuff when you're doing an assignment and you're working hard at it and it's difficult and you're trying to push and it's like it's not it's not working but then you keep pushing through it and trying to fix it and then stuff ha starts happening and things start coming together and the finished product is something you're actually proud of and happy with that's when you feel good that, that, that's when you're like really proud of yourself because you stuck with it and you push through the the, um, the, the tough times but let me tell you the, the, the process is just crawling through the mud like it's just it's grueling but the outcome is it feels nice when, when it's something you're proud of it sucks when, when when you have the hard process and then the outcome is is something you're not happy with it's a crappy drawing that's when you lose your confidence but it happens to everyone it's gonna happen again and again and again and again and again and again and again how bad do you want it that's all it, that's all it comes down to but reminding yourself of your dream and your goal is, is a good way to keep at it. It's just tough because what is my dream? What is my goal? I have aspirations and things that I think would be cool, like having a, a studio where, where I produce animation, comic books, like a Marvel or a DC or a Disney. But I'm just some guy in a room with a black backdrop and a crappy mic, you know? <sighs> So it's like, I don't know if I can do it. But it's good to have big dreams. That way your life is being occupied with something that you believe in. So last week I was able to finish the first course, the Drawing Fundamentals course, in one week. This week, John Hardestine, his course is like four lessons longer than the last course. So it's going to take me two weeks. Plus I got sick this week, so I took a couple days off. Uh, so, so that was a bit of a setback it, it was a big setback actually because people humans are habit humans are creatures of habit so when you when I was doing I was doing the drawing thing every day and sticking with it and you take a day off two days off you're immediately off the the, the structure and, and it's hard to get back into it. it's like going to the gym if you go if you routinely go to the gym and then you miss a week it's, it's really hard to get back into it to be honest with you but um, it was only two days I got sick, but I'm, I'm back at it, working on the drawings every day. So happy about that. I'll be, I'll be back with you guys next week to wrap up the John Hardesty course, uh, Fundamentals of Realism. And I'll let you know how, how I finish off the course and how it goes. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Highly appreciate you. Please leave a comment uh, what you think of the video, if you have any um, thoughts about what I'm going through or if or any thoughts on what you've gone through any of your own personal experiences let me know please like the video helps the algorithm or dislike it that helps too um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. See you now, I'm out.